I'm Anil Kumar. Let me thank all of you for participating actively, looking into my videos, writing comments, and posting questions. Here is a very interesting question from my subscriber. It is based on distance, speed, and time. The question is, Ellen and Eros went out of town at the same time and at the same speed to the next town at that is 18 kilometers away okay so we could do like this okay after they went two hours together they split up ellen kept going in the same speed and eros stopped for a one hour break after the break eros went at one kilometers per hour higher compared to the previous speed and got to the town the same time as ellen Calculate Alan's speed when he got, when he started going. Okay, so that is the question for you. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Well, all distance, speed, time questions, I prefer to make a table, which you must have seen in my videos, distance, speed, and time. I also prefer to write all the equations in product form right never in ratios so we have two persons Ellen and arrows and that is distance speed and time and we also know the relation between distance speed and time and that is distance is product of speed and time correct so I prefer to make this uh, triangle we know distance D is speed into time So that's the relation perfect now what are we given we are given that they start at the same time to reach another town which is 18 kilometers away and they are together for two hours right so so that means uh, let me draw another line let me write total here so total distance we are talking about is 18 units are kilometers speed is kilometers per hour times in hours okay so in two hours, they cover how much distance? Well, let's assume that their speed is, let the speed be x kilometers per hour. So in two hours, they will cover two, two times x. So the distance remaining will be 18 minus 2x, right? So that much distance remains. So the story is kind of like this. They start together, right, cover some distance, and then they split. Now at this time, one person, which is one of them, just keeps going. The other one actually stops. Other one takes a break, right, takes a break and then leaves. How would they reach at the same time? That's what the question is, right? So what we are saying is that they are together for two hours and this distance from here to here is 18 kilometers, right? So in two hours, they cover 2x kilometers. So the remaining distance is 18 minus 2x. That's what we are saying when we say this. Is that clear, right? Now, the speed... Ellen and Rose went out together. After two hours, they split. Ellen kept going. So Ellen kept going, and the speed is same as before. Eros actually stopped, but started with one kilometer per hour extra speed. So the speed of Eros will be x plus one. Perfect. Now let us say that they take the same time to reach. That means if Eros took t hours then ellen took t plus one hour that rest time is included in ellen's covering of distance is that clear right so that is how we get our equations perfect so ellen kept on going with the speed of x kilometers per hour took t plus one hour eros increased the speed by one hour and took t hours they reach at the same time perfect so that gives us two equations. One is 
18 minus 2x equals to just multiply them x times t plus 1 the other one is 18 minus 2x equals to just multiply them x plus 1 times t is it okay well both are same so i could equate them as x times t plus 1 equals to x plus 1 times t they cover the same distance let's open this bracket so we have tx plus x equals to tx plus t tx tx cancel we get x equals to t perfect so we get that the that the speed and the time are actually same that is that is these two terms are same right that is what we get here do you see this so now in our equation we can just substitute x equals to t and solve for t you could choose any one of them so let's say i'm calling this as my equation number one this is equation number two i'll put this in equation number one and then solve okay so if i substitute t for x here i get 18 minus 2x equals to x times instead of t i'm writing x okay so x plus one perfect so if i expand we get 18 minus 2x equals to x square plus x let us bring all these terms together we have a quadratic equation to solve so we could write this as x square plus x plus 2x minus 18 equals to 0 which is x square plus 3x minus 18 equals to 0 sum and product of minus 18 sum of 3 that is 6 and 3 right so 6 has to be positive 3 negative and that gives you x equals to 3 perfect so x is the speed at which they started does make sense correct so our answer is they started at the speed of 3 kilometers per hour is it okay so that is the speed calculate Alan's speed when he started that is the speed at which he started is it okay so it is 3 kilometers per hour i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comments and share your views thank you and all the best